Welcome back to Heron Twins. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Kendra. And we are here with Carmen and Lupita. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's nice talking to you. To finally see you guys again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, We've been trying to do this video for a long time. Yeah, last time we tried, I think it was the day Malia broke the rod in her back. Yeah. And so we were like going to plan that and then that happened. So, yeah. Yeah. Like. It do be like that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we're going to do is just interview you, ask you some like questions about your life, pretty much what life would be like if we were still conjoined kind of questions. And yeah. Sounds good. We'll do that. Let's get on with it, I guess. What organs do you guys share? Um, so basically we are connected at like the torso and we share our lower half. We share our digestive system well part of our digestive system we have two separate stomachs though um that connects into one digestive system two separate hearts two separate lungs two separate backs that connect into one spine what else we got yeah we share like our hips but i control my leg and i control my right leg um basically other than that we just kind of split down the middle and whatever i feel i feel and whatever she feels she feels is there any mutual Anywhere that like if someone if you like touched a certain spot both of you would feel it Basically where we're just like connected and like two inches oh. from where we're connected Oh, we don't remember even the feeling of being connected. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so that like question interests us It's weird people ask that us that all the time and we don't know so <laughs> when you get close do you do you sew them together or who does that like what's the closed situation <laughs> so we have a family friend that's been doing like sewing our uh top half of the clothing for the past 15 years yeah um she just connects two uh shirts together and then like pants which is about pants yeah <laughs> yeah that's cool when we were conjoined our grandma did it oh nice do you ever mix match clothes and sew them together we we used to um, because we thought we were quirky, uh, but not anymore. <laughs> cool. Um, who's more outgoing? Yeah. <laughs> She's more outgoing. <laughs> no, it makes um, sense. How different are your personalities? Like, um, just like tell us the differences of your personalities and the similarities. Do you guys fight a lot? Stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, she, I guess, is more reserved. If that, if that makes sense. Um. Mm -hmm. I guess I talk for both of us for most of the time because she just does not want to. My mom said if I had nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not outgoing. It's just that if I don't say anything, I guess we get nothing done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, I guess we we're, we're really close. We're really close cousins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Do you guys have any other siblings? We have an older sister that's five years older than us. And then we have a cousin that lives with us that my mom adopted about two years ago. Oh, cool. That's cool. Do you guys drive? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So how does that work? So when we were first learning to drive, we thought we'd need more like accommodations, like having like a different type of steering wheel or if I needed like a pedal closer to us or anything, we're just very short. All we need is like a cushion to like prop us up. Mm -hmm. um, she has the right leg, so she drives. Um, she doesn't really do anything. I do. I do the direct like turn signals. Yeah, that's it. That's mm -hmm. that's the extent of it. But um, we thought we were gonna need a lot more accommodations or a bigger seat. Um, but luckily we we're we we're fine. And it just took maybe like a year or so to actually like get used to it. Have you ever gotten pulled over? Yeah. What was their reaction? <laughs> they were like, oh, I thought you guys were sitting on top of each other. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. He um, felt so embarrassed. He was like, I gotta I like have a nice day. I'm like, you you too. Gotta gotta go. <laughs> oh, how tall are you guys? We're very short. I'm five. No, I'm not even five. I'm four seven. And she's four or five. I would have been ah. tall, but no, the egg didn't split. It happens. Yeah. We're yeah. we're shorter than you. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're I'm four three and she's four two. Yep. 
Yeah. Hey man, we're, um, we're, we're tall at heart. Yeah, <laughs> same. Uh, what does a day look like for you? Um, right now we're going to school online. Um, we also are content creators, so that's our job. <laughs> um, once in a while we babysit our neighbor's kid, so it's it's like not too boring, but also not lively, so it's it is what it is. What are you going for, to school for? We're going to school for vet tech. I wanted to do that. <laughs> it's it's uh it's interesting. Like we're just doing our prereqs right now, like the basic classes. And uh I'm losing my motivation cuz like I gotta do the basic classes before we actually get into the program and it sucks. Yeah. Would you guys be going to school if it what, there wasn't a pandemic? Yeah, we were going to school, like, driving there, no problem, everything, uh, up until March, and then, yeah. Yeah, online is so much harder. I don't, I don't like it. They're, like, assigning more stuff for no reason. I'm like, just, just do what you did before, but just online. Have you guys worked in a vet office before? We used to volunteer, um, in the eighth grade at a vet office, and then we also volunteered at, like, a couple different farms and everything, just to get experience. And we had to because to stay at our school. Yeah, we had to get, like, volunteer hours to stay at our school because it was an ag school. Did you guys ever get bullied in school or anything? Uh, luckily our community was, like, pretty tight-knit, and, uh, the only people that really bullied us were, like, random strangers if we go into the city and everything we're by new york so that's where the city is you what we're by new york so that's what we consider the city like the new york city as we just call it the city yeah <laughs> we never got bullied either so a lot of people do like a lot of conjoined twins do and i'm and i don't know how like people can be so mean like sometimes i don't get it but i guess it really gr depends on the place that you grow up. True. So. I mean, like, people would tease us, but, like, I also know how to hold my own. So if they'd insult us, we give it right back to them. So it doesn't really necessarily phase us at this point. Yeah. Okay. No one really said anything to us. I mean, maybe every once in a while, but... Yeah, I've never... Um, I mean, I've had people that I, I knew say mm -hmm. things when they were mad at me and so I just like say something back because I knew them but I've never had like strangers say anything so oh, okay so. that's good yeah what's your favorite activity to do that's a good question um <laughs> well right now since it's like becoming autumn I guess it's more like apple picking things like that do you guys cook and or bake or like garden or like anything that what's what's the word what? Like a I hobby? Know. What? Like a hobby? Yeah, like a hobby. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we cook to survive because, you know, we're adults at this point. Um, we used to garden um, a couple months ago up until like a week ago because fall again. Um, we don't do much but school right now, so it's kind of occupying our time. So, yeah. Life does not exist at this point. <laughs> Have you guys been able to get a job or work anywhere? We, it's not, okay. When we were looking for jobs for like the fill the whole volunteer hours thing, um, we did find some difficulty because they thought we were like a liability and they didn't know how to handle like the whole insurance thing and apparently we were gonna sue if we fell or if we something happened to us and i'm like nah if we fell we'll get right back up. up uh but it hasn't really been that difficult anymore because we're kind of focused on youtube yeah like youtube as being our job right now and then um just doing odd jobs with our like parents and things like that yeah i totally get that like it's so hard finding a job when they don't think you're capable like yeah, yeah. i've been looking for a while and I had to get hired through like a relative because nobody else would hire me. Yeah, we had to have like a word of mouth type of thing to get a job. Um, or when we worked at our school uh, taking care of the animals, we had to be hired by basically the director because nobody else would kind of hire us for any kind of job because they were like, well, you can't really lift anything. We're like, you don't know that. Or um, like they could, we th they thought we we're going to tie ourselves out really easily, but. We do. Yeah. 
It's just we won't tell them that. <laughs> yeah, people really are judgy and you don't think that they're gonna be. So <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. What do people ask you the most? Um it's like basically uh how do we use the restroom? How do we walk? Who controls what leg? Um, can we read each other's mind? Which is stupid. Uh it's a common one. Um <laughs> Uh, like personal uh, relationship questions, things like that. Uh, it gets annoying after a while. Um, it's basically like if we're not gonna publicly answer them, it's not gonna be answered. But people keep insisting, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's like it's not any of your business. Mm -hmm. There's stuff that needs to be kept private. <laughs> exactly. You know, a lot of those and like especially like if we're doing an interview with someone and they ask something and we're like i'm not comfortable at answering that <laughs> any final things to say before we end the video i think we're all set where can we find you uh you can find us on uh, youtube.com forward slash carmen and lupita we will also put a link in the description for their youtube channel thanks for watching <laughs> subscribe <laughs> if you're here from there video subscribe subscribe consider subscribing maybe we'll do another video with them and then also check out we need to meet in real life though yeah we do <laughs> we really do after this pandemic mm -hmm. oh heck yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah we'll, we'll figure out something fun <laughs> yeah. yeah and also there's gonna be a link in the description for the video we did on their channel yes so yeah we'll go watch that yep we'll see you later bye, bye.